The internet can be a risky zone for everyone. Our young learners are most vulnerable to the dangers that it may bring. Online hazards may have tragic consequences. But worry no more. Protecting our young learners against threats of the cyber neighborhood is just a matter of awareness. With Google's V Internet Awesome program, we can help our young learners to be safe and responsible users of the internet. Aiming to promote digital citizenship, V Internet Awesome anchors on five themes called the Internet Code of Awesome. First, be internet smart or share with care. Second, be internet alert or don't fall for fake information online. Next is be internet strong or secure your private information. It is followed by be internet kind or don't be a cyber bully. And last is be internet brave or talk it out when in doubt. To support its pedagogical value, Be Internet Awesome is supported by tools and resources evaluated by the International Society for Technology in Education and receive the seal of alignment for readiness. To begin, let's get some light on the engaging computer game called Interland. Interland is intended for learners aged 7 to 12. It provides fun and adventure-packed hands-on experiences to help young learners discover safety measures in using technology. Players will be called Internauts. Internauts will explore four floating islands. The King Kingdom, the Reality River, the Mindful Mountain, and the Tower of Treasure. Each island features a challenging game equivalent to a different lesson. Internauts will collaboratively embark on a quest to combat evil hackers, fishers, oversharers, and bullies by practicing online safety and online etiquette. With this free interactive game, Young learners will be empowered to achieve technological independence. It will also help them to distinguish between safe and unsafe behavior in online interactions. This includes attaining a sense of what to share on the internet and whom to share it with depending on the content. Now, let's take a look at the B Internet Awesome Curriculum. The B Internet Awesome Curriculum features teaching guides on topics such as privacy and security, cyberbullying and online cruelty, phishing and scams, online reputation, and inappropriate content. Aside from teaching guides, the B Internet Awesome curriculum also contains posters, worksheets, and slide decks that can be used concurrently with the game Interland. To encourage the entire family in promoting safe internet usage, the B Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na!
Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon, guys. And we're back. I hope everybody is doing great. Hello, senior high school students. Welcome to second quarter of the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Sa mga kakachunin lamang po. Yeah, we have here uh, very early Enrico Dalupan. Good afternoon po. Good afternoon to you. To Joseph Conrad Bulaklak. Hi, hello, good afternoon. Watching from Pasay North High School. Another, we have John Christian Miko. Hello, John. Good afternoon. Yes, also we have Regine Labong, Trisha Gutierrez from San Francisco High School. Good afternoon. And it's like Joseph Daniel and the rest. Okay, good afternoon, everyone, guys. Ayan. Okay, so we have here. Ayan, so, okay, so, yes, but before we shout out in behalf of my partner, Tutor Floyd, we would like to greet everyone a big bang happy new year to everyone, yes, ayan, so, welcome 2022, the year of the tiger, rawr, <laughs> And of course, our color of the year, the very Perry, a brand new color of whose courageous presence encourages personal inventiveness and creativity. So we'll be creating creative this year. No? Okay. And speaking of creativeness, I would like to greet also the creative um Head school head of my school, San Francisco High School, Dr. Edna V. Maniaga. Hello, po, ma'am. Doc, uh, doctor, we have also Dr. Um, I mean, I mean, my head of the senior high school department, Christina F. Abanador. Hello, po, ma'am. Dr. Janelyn Rose. Corpus, our school's division superintendent, Quezon City. Ma'am Maria Fe Talabukon of Assistant Senior High School of San Francisco High School. And of course, from Davao City, there, hello po, hello po sa inyo lahat. And of course, we also have here from JJ, good afternoon po, Michelle Conan Karnan of San Francisco High School. Yes, good afternoon, ang dami-dami natin. We also have Mario Andres, hello, good afternoon too. Ayan, so, we are very excited this afternoon because we will be joining us today, our special guest. Ayan. So, unang ano pa lang, bungad pa lang ng ating itulay session, ay meron na tayong kakaibang pasabog, no? <laughs> okay, we'd we'll like to say big bang, happy new year again to everyone. So, to start with, we have a grade 12 student of San Francisco High School. Tawagin na natin sila. We are very excited. From the vision of Quezon City, she was a consecutive president of um, Araling Palipunan Club for two years in junior high. Member of media arts, she joined and won in district competition in journalism. No, talaga naman. And presently, Dininyo guys, the president of her class. Please help me welcome Miss Gabrielle Malabanan. Hi, Tutor Gab. Tutor Gab. Ayan, si Tutor Gab. Hello, hello. Hello ka sa inyo. Hello po. I'm Tutor Gab. We'll be joining you for this for this uh, day, uh, uh, before we continue, I would like to give a shout out to my section from San Francisco High School, uh, 12 Gas Aquarius, and to my family and friends. Ayan, ang ganda ganda ni Gaba, no? Okay, and I'm very happy, Gab, that you have given us a chance to be our guest today. And of course, another, we have a consistent honor student since grade 7, talagang iba ito, the champion, siya ay champion ng virtual debate competition, pero hindi siya makipag-debate sa atin ngayon, but he is going to share information to us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all catch our side to EJ Caspilio Casino or Tutor EJ. Tutor EJ, hello. Ang mukhang excited si Tutor EJ. Andiyan na ba si Tutor EJ? 
Naku, mukhang, hello, Tutor EJ. <laughs> mukhang wala pa siya. Okay. Ayan, sige. Well, anyway, Tutor EJ will be with us later, no? Ayan. So, there you have it, ang ating tandem guest for this afternoon. Ayan, makakasama natin maya-maya lang si Tutor EJ. Ayan. Okay, so to recap, well, last year, kung natatandaan nyo, we had our mini-miss, Tutor Gab, di ba? Our, uh, with Tutor Floyd, uh, uh, Tutor Alex, and Tutor Yvonne, and we have shared the lessons and on literary and levels of adaptation. Ayan, so I hope you have learned and we have shared so many informations to you guys. And now, we are in quarter two of uh, this uh, week six of uh, self and peer assessment of literary texts and their creative adaptations from Asia naman tayo and Africa. Okay, ayan. And yes, syempre, hindi mo complete ang lesson natin this afternoon without the milks. Tutor Gap, ano ba yung milks natin? Go ahead, Tutor Gap. Yes, Tutor Joyce, our MELCs are as we, uh, most essential learning competencies, or as we call it MELCs, is critically interpreting literary texts, applying a reading approach, and ident identifying texts and authors from Asia and Africa. Okay, and about our lesson objectives, syempre, hindi makukumpleto ang ating afternoon, no? Tutor Gap, ano itong ating lesson objective? Yes, yes go ahead. Our Yes, and our lesson objectives for today is first, identifying authors from Asia and Africa. Second, under, understand the literary texts and genres of modern Asia and African literature. And lastly, appreciate Asia and African literature. Ayan, okay. Galing naman ng ating mga, ano, ng ating guests for the day. So, maya maya, tutor EJ, ha? nandyan ka lang ba? Okay, so moving on to our literature concept of the week which is published works well published works means these are any literary or artistic work printed as book whether in siyang paper or any reputed journal no which is already for publication means nga na publish na and speaking of publication these are the common examples of books music films even web content no and our lesson for today, mind you guys, is more on published works of authors from Asia and Africa, which is, ito na nga, yung self and peer assessment of a creative adaptation of a literary text from Asia and Africa. Okay, so question muna tayo, Tutor Gab. Ayan, alam ko excited ng ating mga uh, viewers ngayon. Ano, ang dami natin viewers, di ba? So, if you have friends, alam ko siguro merong friends si Tutor Gab, no? For various, from various countries like Asia ba or Africa. How do you say hello? Oh, di ba? Yun naman talagang una. Hello, hi, hello, like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Japan kaya. O oh, sige nga, Japan Tutor Gab. Yes, uh, before I answer the question on how to say hel hello in Japan, let's see the viewers if they know how to say uh, hello in Japan. Ayan, Ayan, so la, Joseph, mm -hmm. Joseph Daniel said, Konnichiwa. Wow, okay, tama kaya siya. Tutor Gab, i-reveal na natin. Tutor Gab, excited na sila. And that yes. is? Yes, in Japan, we say Konnichiwa. Okay, yeah. Kinichiwa. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next country. In Asia, we have Africa naman kala. How about Africa? Okay, bago sa Asia. Africa kaya, Tutor Gab. So, let us see if our, our viewers. Ayan, o sabi nga ni Joseph is, ayan o, uh, look at the person and say, Kinichiwa in Japan. Ayan, thank you so much. Yeah, ito, meron tayong mga sagot, no, from uh, from. From Azaga Jevru. Yeah, meron tayong answer is, ito tama kaya sila, Tutor Gab? Reveal na natin. Yes. Okay, the Tutor correct Joyce. answer is? Uh, in Africa, we say Alan. Yeah, Alan or Alan. And you have to yes. say face to face. Ayan. Okay. And how about sa China? Okay, ito yung talagang maraming, ano no, maraming tao, China. How about in China? 
tutor. Tutor, gap, tingnan natin nga. How do you say hi or hello in Chinese or China? Anyone? Okay, ito may sagot si Maria Camille Mabini. He says, Ni hao. Okay, tama kaya siya. <laughs> hello, Sir Jerry. Corpo says, Ni hao. Ala. Okay, so let's reveal. Tutor, gap, ano kaya daw? In China, we say ni hao. So, they are correct. Yes, congratulations. Good, good job, guys. Galing. Okay, and of course, speaking of the China or that we are now discussing or going to share to you, what are these Chinese literature in China? Go ahead, Tutor Gap. Yes, thank you, Tutor Joyce, for that uh, wonderful introduction and uh, for the wonderful um uh, icebreaker as we call it so yes uh under chinese literature the first uh the first lesson that we will discuss is the chinese literature and under it is did you know that the that the chinese language is the oldest spoken and written language and did you also know a student must learn how to write 214 characters instead of 26 letters in the english alphabet and did you also know there are 50,000 chinese characters but we only need to 214 to be fluent in chinese Ayan. So before we continue, Tutor Gab, and dito na si Tutor EJ. Hi, Tutor EJ. Say hi muna, Tutor EJ. Hello, hello. Hello, hello Tutor Joyce. Good afternoon and good afternoon also, Tutor Gab. So, sorry for the um, interruption earlier. And um, yes, in addition to that, Tutor Gab, like what you've said, did you also know that the official dialect of China is Mandarin or also called Putonghua? And more than 70% of the Chinese population speaks Mandarin. But there are also several other major dialects used in China. Like here in our country, the Philippines has eight major dialects, but our official language is Filipino or Tagalog, according to the 19, 1987 of our constitution. Ayan, yeah, no, thank you for that very informative infor information, Tutor EJ. And didn't you know that because this during times, China really refused, no? They refuse all contacts with the Western world. Kaya talagang pinapreserve talaga nila kalang Chinese language. Okay, and of course, speaking of this vocabulary, Tutor Gab. Yes, the, in the Chinese language, they have two kinds of vocabulary. The first one is the spoken vocabulary, and the second one is the written vocabulary. Yes, and not only that, Tutor Gab, it does not represent the sound that composed the spoken word para sa kanila, but instead it's based on the concept rather than phonetics. At as a result, it means that the words they have undergone transformation, para magta transform na no from numerous transformation, they have progress. Ayan from idea, picture, writing to more symbolic forms. Okay, and of course, we also have this four great classical novels in China. Ano sino sino ba yon? Chutor Gab. Yes, the, here are some uh, the four great classical novels in China. The first one is Romance of the Three Kingdoms Lu, by Lu Guanxiong. Second one, Outlaws of the Marsh, Shi Nai'an. Journey to the West, Wu Chong'un. Dream of the Red Chamber, Xiao Shou. And these are the four great classical novels in China. Okay, you tutor Gab and tutor EJ, alam niyo ba why these are called the four, they are really uh, called the great classical novels in China? It's because no, they are actually the world's longest and oldest novels. They are the most read, ayan, most studied and adapted works for pre-modern Chinese fiction. Ayan. And of course, how about, no? Yun naman, paano naman yung, ano, modern? How about the modern literature, Chitter Gab? Yes, in the modern times, we have uh, Mu Yen. It, it, he or she is a novelist who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2012. And here are some of the Nobel writers, notable writers. Yu Was, Wang Shou, and Shi Tai Sheng's novel, as well as Gao Xiao Sheng's, Wang Sheng Xi, and Shang Chen Xi's short stories. 
Wow, talaga naman yung pag, ano ba lang, ikakaiba pala yung mga names nila, no? Well, actually, Moyan, he is, he is a novel, no? So, lalaki si Moyan, no? And I really saw how how he was awarded. That was way back 2012. Ang galing, ang galing talaga niya. Okay, next, moving on to the Japanese literature. Okay, ano naman itong Japanese literature? Alam ko may isi-share sa atin si Tutor EJ. Go ahead, Tutor EJ. Yes, thank you, Tutor Joyce. And let us move on to Japanese literature. So yeah, under the Japanese literature, of course, we have thoughts and impressions, travel logs, and personal diaries. Okay, so when you say thoughts and impressions, no, these are actually prominent in Japanese literature and lalo na yung travel logs. Actually, travel logs, these are basically the description of a travel journey of a traveler using his or her own words. Ayan, parang, parang kinukwento niya dun yung travel niya. No? And of course, the personal diaries, ah, syempre naman, ano? and these are personal experiences of our writers. Ayan. And... And of course, our Japanese drama, under it, we have inter entertainment or comedy to entertain their viewers or audiences and adventures of gods and heroes. And they also used history and traditions. Yes, and we also have these types of Japanese drama. Ano ba ito, Tutor EJ? Yes, Tutor Joyce. One of our one of our types of our Japanese drama, of course, we have the no play. No is its name derived from no, meaning talent or skill. It is a form of theater involving music, dance, and drama, and originating in the 14th century. Also, did you also know that no is the oldest form of Japanese theater dating back to the 14th century? It was developed by a man named Kanami and his son Zayami. And also, to rejoice, no is a very traditional and structured art form with training for actors beginning as early as age of three. So imagine at the age of three, you'll have the capabilities to do or to perform the theater. Wow, kaya pala yung mga Japanese natin, ano, talaga namang, they are very talented. Okay. Yes. And another one, another type? And another one, we have the jewelry play. This type of theater art uses puppet and jewelry in Japanese literature and music is a type of chanted recitative that came to be used as a script in Bunraku puppet drama. Its name derived from the Juririhime Monogatari, a 15th century romantic tale, while the leading lady is Lady Joruri. Mm, yes, and I uh, I have uh, read this uh, type of uh, play, you know, Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ. These are operated by three people, no, to perform a variety of different plays. Ayan, si Jujuri uh, play. And another one, Tutor EJ. And we have also the Kabuki play. This classical theater is known for its costumes and dynamic acting. The term kabuki originally suggested the unorthodox and shocking character of this art form. In modern Japanese, the word is written with three characters, ka signifying song, bu signifying the dance, and ki signifying the skill. Okay, ayan, very informative talaga, ano, Tutor EJ. Good job, guys. Okay, Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ, if we have Japanese drama, we also have this Japanese poetry. So, ano naman itong Japanese poetry? Actually, we have the Man Yushu, or the oldest collection of Japanese poetry, no? These are compiled around year 759 AD, imagine that. Okay, and not only that, we also have the haiku, the very famous, which is a 17-syllable poem in three lines of 575 syllables. And it is actually the shortest and the most popular form 
of Japanese poetry. And sa tingin ko, hanggang ngayon, no, we are still learning this haiku even in our country, not only in Japan. Okay, and moving on naman, Tutor Gab. Alam ko si Tutor Gab may share naman sa atin about the African literature. Okay, go ahead, Tutor Gab. Yes, under the African literature, or before I go on to the African literature, uh, we should know that the Africa is also known as the Dark Continent. Why does why did they call it the Dark Continent? Because the Europe didn't know much about Africa until the 19th century. White people called the Africa as the Dark Continent because they wanted to legitimize the enslavement of black people and exploitation of Africa's resources. That's why it is called the Dark Continent. Ah, okay. So now I know na kaya pala siya tinawag na Dark Continent. Okay, and another, how about the pre-colonial Tutor Gag? Yes, uh, under the African literature, there are literary periods of Africa. Uh, the first one is pre-colonial literature that happened in the 1700s. They were more on, uh, on the oral literature. And during the colonial African literature uh, that, what, that was happened in 1789, there were more on European literature. And in the regime Middle Ages, during the 1800s, Arabic alphabet was introduced. Ayun, so doon pala napakilala yung kanilang Arabic alphabet. And of course, we have also during the post-colonial period, this is now the liberated, uh, liberation uh, period or freedom from the colonizers of the Africans. And these are actually way back 1950 to 1960s. No? Nakita niyo yung mga themes nila or um, their literary themes. You have about traditions, about modernity. We have socialism, capitalism, experiences, freedom, and nationality. So you can you will observe how the kumbaga hindi malang ikwento yung history you can already see no you can already see the the what is happening during that times because of the themes of their literature and of course during this time we have the contemporary they have also the modern literature and of course the 21st century literature ayan well actually there they have also this characteristics ano ba yung mga characteristics ng mga traditions we have the storytelling so in africa how do they uh, how do they uh, share their stories from different or from from their fellows? Okay, so what do they do is they have the communal experiences or repetition. Itong communal is where in the community will gather, no? The gather sila and their elders would take turn and sharing experiences and stories, pass it on to generation to generation. So, ganun sila before. While in the pros, social social memories, collection of rules, so they have really, they have own rules and laws, no? Tutor gab. And not only that, their strategy, their, their, their tales are more on moral, talagang morality and values are embedded in their tales. Ayan, Tutor gab. And finally, we will be meeting, no? We will be meeting two or I mean six, six famous writers and authors of Africa. Excited na ako, Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ, ang ating ipakilala, no? Ang ating mga authors from the Africa. Okay, take it away, Tutor Gab. Yes, thank you, Tutor Joyce. Our dear, dear viewers and Tutor Joyce, Tutor EJ, the first uh, African author is Albert Chinwala Mugu Achibe. He was born on November 16, 1930, in Ogidi, Nigeria. Sadly, he died um, on March 21, 2013 at Boston, Massachusetts. He was regarded as the father of African literature. He is a Nigerian novelist. One of his works is Things Fall Apart, which was first published in 1959. He also had a wife named Christiana Chinwe Okoli, and he also had four awards. Uh, here are his rewards, International Booker Prize, Peace Prize of German Book Trade, the Dorothy and Lillian Gish Prize, and lastly, St. Louis Literary Award. You know, Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ, one, one observation no, about Achibe, yung kanya mga writings is more on social and more on psychological disorientation. Yan, yan yung napansin ko sa kanya mga, mga writings. Okay, thank you so much. Another one, yes, Tutor Gab. 
The next one is Mungi Wachongo. He was born on January 5, 1938 at Kimrito, Kenya. His, he had a wife named Nyeri Wa Mungi. Uh, they had four children. Uh, his first novel is Petal of Blood, published in 1977, a brave exposition of Kenya's injustice, system that led to his arrest. And some of yeah. his awards are World Fantasy Award, Nebula Awards, International Fantasy Award, and many more. Yeah, so see, he is really uh, parang ano siya, very uh, no, awarded the uh, author or writer. No, We have next and another one. And the next one is Akawa. Akinwa de Oluol Babantu de Sayinka, or also known as Wol Sayinka. Sayinka. He was born on July 13, 1934. He was a playwright and political recipient in 1986. He had a wife named Folake Dorothy Sayinka. They had five children together. And, he, and his awards are Nobel Prize in Literature, Anisfield Wolf Book Awards for Lifetime Achievement. Yeah, so there you have it. There are three uh, famous writers or authors of Africa, no, in African literature. But actually, these guys actually they have called the attention, no, parang they have called the attention of the world's attention to look at Africa. Parang sila talaga ang nagpakita ng hello, I, we are here and we are also good. And they, if you're going to read the the writings of these people, are really great. Yeah. And how about modern literature naman ng, ng Africa? So let's see. Let's Can you share it with us, Tutor EJ? Go ahead, Tutor EJ. So thank you, Tutor Joyce. Let us move on to the modern literature under, under African literature. So we have Dirie Osman. He is a Somali British short story writer, essayist, and critic visual artist. And most of his works are about self-revelation fairy tales for lost children of 2013. And like what I've said, he is the author of the short story collection Fairy Tales for Lost Children, which won the 2014 Polari First Book Prize. Wow, another one we have. And another one, we have Warsan Shire 1988. She is a Kenyan poet and writer who is currently based in London. And in 20, 2013, she was awarded the inaugural Brunel University African Poetry Prize, chosen from a short list of six candidates out of a total of 655 entries. Grabe, no? Grabe, no? And, and this, this uh, person or she is also uh, based on her writings more on ano siya, social conditions. Ayan, ang mga societal conditions ang sinusulat niya and more on culture juggling. Okay, and of course, we have... And of Chuter course, the last, but, the last but not the least, we have Nadifa Mohammed. She's a novelist and a poet. She wrote The Black Mamba Boy in 2010 and The Orchard of Lost Souls in 2013. Also, Tudor Joyce in 2013, she was named to Granta Magazine's list of the best of young British novelists. And in 2014, she was featured to the Africa 39 list of writers under the age of 40 who have the potential and talent to define future trends in African literature. Wow, okay, good job, no? That is actually a very informative information that they have shared to our viewers this afternoon. And so there you have it. We have met the famous writers and authors of African literature and Asian literature. Okay, so mukhang nabitin sila, but <laughs> we have to have an assessment. O, tingnan natin, ha? Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ. Tingnan natin kung gano'n sila nakinig kanina. So, let us have an assessment. So, you guys ready with your answers in our, in our chat space? Just write your answers and participate and join actively with us. Okay, so here it goes. Directions, select the letter of your best answer. So, to start with, number one, literary copies that are issued to public whether in the form of a book magazine newspaper journal per periodical or otherwise is it letter a arabic alphabet 
B, literary genre, C, literary text, or D, published work? Ayan, can you write your answers now, guys? Hello, hello, viewers. You may now write your answers at A, B, C, D. Ayan, tingnan natin ang ating mga sagot. Oh, ayan na, si Ahena answered letter D. How about the others? Ayan, si Vaughn. Oh, good job, guys. Ayan, mukhang, aha, murang marami marami ang ating mga sagot. Good job. Thank you so much for answering. I-reveal na natin, Tutor Gab. Yes, the answer in the question number one is D, published works. Wow, good job. Congratulations. Okay, number two. What was the oldest spoken and written language? Ano kaya ito? Is it African, Chinese, Japanese, or Singapore language? Type your answers. Ayan, mamaya-maya. I-reveal na ni Tutor EJ. Tingnan muna natin ang mga sagot nila. Tutor EJ, ayan, may mga sumagot na. We have Angel Rose Gazer answered B. Anislag answered uh, B also. Miko answered B. Remaline, Altea, ayan, and Gwen and Marian. Tingnan natin, Tutor EJ, ano bang sagot natin dito? Go ahead. So, I guess, Tutor Joyce, most of them got the correct answer, which is letter B, Chinese language. Ayan, okay, galing. Number three, is it, a, it, it is a classical theater known for its costume and dynamic acting in Japan. Ano kaya ito? Is it Jujuri play, no play, kabuki play, or haiku? Go ahead, write your answers in our chat space. Ayan. Ayan, may mga uman, may mga sumagot na. C, sabi nila C, some others D, B. Ano kaya ang tamang sagot, Tutor Gab? Mukhang nakokonfuse sila. <laughs> Go ahead, Tutor Gab. The correct answer is C, Kabuki Play. Ayun, Kabuki Play. Ayan, good. Thank you so much for answering, guys. Number four, he is known as the father of African literature. Mamaya, ipratanong sa inyo yan sa inyong lesson sa, sa school. Ayan, sino kaya? Okay, A, B, C, D. Tingnan natin, Shooter EJ. Ayan, may mga sumagot na. We have Vaughn, answered C, Gwen. Ayan, may mga answer sila. Yes. And reveal the answer na natin. Let's go. The answer is... The correct answer for this question is letter A, Chinua at Chebe. Ayun, good job. Okay, and last but not the least, who was the Chinese novelist who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2012? Sino kaya ito? Aha, sige, tingnan natin. Ayan, you may write down your answers in our chat space. Thank you so much for answering, guys. I really love this. Oh, ayan o, oh, talagang nag-answer sila. Thank you, thank you. Ayan, ang sagot natin ay Tutor Gab. Sino daw? Yes, the answer for this question is C, si Mu Yen. Ayan. Okay, so congratulations everyone. <laughs> ang galing, galing. Okay. And now for the task of the week. Ito na po ang task of the week natin. Alam niyo guys, every time you post uh, your task or, or output on our epi page, or we are really reading with you, me and with Tutor Floyd, and we are really amazed with your outputs, guys. So this time, you are going to write a short poem about your insights and learnings from this session. Okay, post it to our FB page. It could be by group or gusto nyong individual, pwede rin. Ayan. And of course, syempre, di ba, parang hindi parang bitin, ano? <laughs> but we will continue, guys. Okay, so for our sneak peek, Tutor EJ. Yes, Tutor Joyce. What will be the sneak peek for the next week's session? Of course, we have Europe and Latin America. So we will discuss the different literary texts or literature and genres under Europe and Latin America. So be excited, guys, because this will be an interesting one. And of course, have an uh, advanced reading for you to have a prior knowledge about this one. Yes, okay. But before we finally end the session, we would like to share another literary piece written by Abdullah Shawab. It is a reverse poetry 
reverse poetry. Well, it's a poem that can be read forwards, top to bottom, and have one meaning, but can also be read backward, bottom to top, and have a different opposite meaning. The structure of reverse poem is usually the same. So here it goes. Go ahead, Shutter Gab. Yes, the title of this poem is Pretty Ugly by Abdullah Shoaib. I am very ugly. So don't try to convince me that I'm very beautiful. Because at the end of the day, I hate myself in every single way. And I'm not going to lie to myself by saying there is beauty inside of me that matters. So rest assured, I will remind myself that I am a worthless, terrible person and nothing you say will make me believe I still deserve love because no matter what, I am not good enough to be loved and I am in no position to believe that beauty does exist within me because whenever I look in the mirror, I always think, am I as ugly as people say? Now, read the same words, but bottom up. Okay, so this time we are going to read the same words according to the Iche, but this time bottom up. So are you ready with me? You can also read by yourself there. Okay, so here it goes. I always think I am as ugly as people say, because whenever I look in the mirror, beauty does exist within me. And I am in no position to believe that. I am not good enough to be loved. Because no matter what, I still deserve love. And nothing you say will make me believe that I am worthless and terrible person. So rest assured, I will remind myself there is beauty inside of me that matters. I am not going to lie to myself by saying I hate myself in every single way because at the end of the day, I am a very beautiful person. So don't try to convince me that I am very ugly. Okay, so there you have it, guys. It's actually, we okay. hope to be enlightened and inspired everyone and have gained another learnings and experiences from this session. Remember, always that you are pretty, we are pretty, and we deserve to be loved. This is your Tutor Joyce. This is Tutor Gab. And this is Tutor EJ. At your service, saying... Thank you. See you again next week for another journey while learning here in the, where is it, guys? In the 21st century literature century from the literature. Philippines and, and the, the world. And before we end this, before we end this session, Tutor Joyce, I'd like to greet you, Tutor Joyce, and Tutor Gab, belated Happy New Year. And since I wasn't able to shout out my classmate earlier, <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to um, give them a special shout out. Um, my classmates under grade twelve section Libra and grade twelve section Pisces, of course, and to our school, San Francisco High School, and to our beloved principal, Miss Edna Banyaga. Okay, there you have it. Thank you, guys. And don't forget to subscribe you, to our Deb and TV YouTube channel and revisit and share our previous episodes. So make sure to tune in to our next class here, Reading and Writing with Tutor Jess and Tutor Zen and Creative Writing with Tutor Kit and Tutor Jerry. So thank you for watching. Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ, thank you so much. It's been an honor you, for you to be with us. Thank you, thank you. Thank Bye, you, everyone. Guys. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye, viewers. Bye. See you next week. Thank, thank you. you Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod na programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!